Hello students, welcome back to the 8th video of this playlist. So in this video, uh, we will be solving question number 8 from May 2024 P1 regional paper. So let's see what's the question number 8 from this paper is about. So the concepts behind this question, that is question number 8, is basically from integration that has that has been discussed in chapter number nine of your p1 textbook and also you need to have a concepts from chapter number four that is graphs and transformations of your p1 textbook so in order to be able to solve this question definitely you should have idea about integration like integrating uh, functions and also uh, factorizing cubic equations and sketching transformed functions okay so let's get started with question number eight so here at first uh, they are, what what they are saying a curve c with equation y equals to f of x passes through the point r 413 the coordinates of point r that lies on the curve c it's given so given that f dash x f dash x is what the gradient function so gradient function of f of x it is equals to twice of x minus 3 times 3x plus 2 so this is the gradient function is given okay so part a use integration use integration to find f of x giving you answer in simplest form okay so using integration we need to find out the what f of x from its what gradient function so we need to do integration so let's say part a so gradient function it has been found by differentiating f of x right so that means if you integrate if you integrate f dash x since integration is the reverse method for differentiation so integrating the gradient function will give us the what actual function okay so we need f of x in order to get f of x we need to integrate what f dash x so f dash x is what f dash x is uh, twice of x times x minus 3 so let's multiply so that would give you 2 times what 3x squared plus twice x plus twice x negative what 9x negative 6 dx fine okay so let's integrate okay before integration just multiply the con like the bracket you'll get 6x cube sorry x3 6x squared okay 6x squared plus 2x minus 9x that will give you negative 7x so negative 7 times 2 that is negative 14x negative 12 what dx okay okay fine so now it's time to integrate so if you integrate 6x squared what would it would be integration is the opposite method of differentiation in differentiation we multiply the coefficient by the power of the variable right so here the variable is x so in reverse method in integration what we will do we will add 1 with the power that is re opposite to differentiation in differentiation we subtract 1 from the power so here we will add 1 with the power so x to the power 2 plus 1 that is x cube and then we will use the new power to divide the coefficient so that would give you 6 over 3 that is 2 okay so in differentiation we multiply the coefficient with the power but in integration we divide the coefficient by the new power after adding 1 with the power okay okay so x the next term is what x so its power is 1 so 1 plus 1 that would give you 2 x squared so power new power is 2 so negative 14 over 2 that is negative what 7 and then negative what 12 x plus c done just integration okay now we got the equation of f of x in terms of x and c an arbitrary constant c is there so we need to get the value for that arbitrary constant c how can we find out that we using these coordinates of point r okay okay so 
coordinates of point R is what? 4, 13, right? 4, 13. So here x value is 4 and y value is what? 13. That means f of 4 is equals to what? 13, right? f of 4 equals to what? 13. So put 4 into this equation. If you put 4 into this equation, what you will get? 4 cube is 64. 64 times 2, that is 128. Okay? Minus x squared. 4 squared is what? 16. So 16 times 7. So 5 times 16, that is 80. Plus 32, that is 112. So 112. Okay? Minus what? 12 times 4, that is uh, 48. Plus C. This is equals to what? 13. Okay. Now, we need what? The value for C. So C would be what? Let's add them up. 128 minus 48, that is 80. 80 minus 1 to 112, that is negative 32. So negative 32, if you take it to the right side, it will give you what? 32 plus 13. 32 plus 13, it will be what? 45. So the value for C is what? The value for C is 45. So the equation of f of x, we got what? f of x is uh, twice of x cubed twice of x cubed negative 7x squared and then negative 12x negative 12x plus 45 negative 12x plus 49 and this is the what equation for f of x that's it okay so next is part b in part b they are saying given that f of x can be written in the form x minus 3 whole square times p x plus q find the value of the constant p and the value of the constant q okay so the thing is that we need to what we need to uh factorize f of x okay factorizing a cubic equation okay so how can we factorize this equation okay since f of x we know the equation of f of x we just need to integrate like uh, not integrate we need to factorize it so we can use the algebraic long division in order to what factorize that right okay so let's use what uh, algebraic long division so for part b for factorization x minus 2 whole square right if you expand x minus 3 you will get x square negative 6x plus 9 you will use this to divide the f of x what was the equation of f of x uh, twice of x squared and then uh, it was twice of x squared or uh, twice of x cubed negative 7 x squared negative 2 of x plus 45 twice of x cubed it's twice of x cubed negative 7 x squared negative 7 x squared negative 12 x plus 45 okay so if you use algebraic uh, long division what we'll get okay what we need to multiply at first we need to have twice of x there Okay, so twice of x times x squared will give you twice of x cubed and then twice of x times negative 6x would give you negative 12 x squared. So twice of x times 9, it will give you plus what? 18 x. <laughs> okay. Why I took twice of x there? Remember, in algebraic long division, you need to put uh, in the quotient this this part is called the quotient in the quotient you need to put the term in such a way that the first term of the dividend okay the first term of the dividend gets eliminated so here the first term was twice of x cube so in order to eliminate twice of x cube we need to have twice of x cube there so in order to have twice of x cube we need to multiply x squared by twice of x that's why we put twice of x there okay so twice of x cubed twice of x cubed cancels out you will have what if you subtract we'll get 5x squared like subtracting the bottom line from the top line it will be what negative 12x negative 18x that would give you negative 30x 
and then plus 45 okay now what we need to do, what, what we need to do we need to multiply by what 5 because if I we need to have 5x squared so 5 times x squared is what 5x squared negative 30x plus 45 and it gives you remainder 0 that means what f, f of x can be written as what f of x can be written as x minus 3 whole squared times what times twice of x plus 5 that's it so this is basically the factorized form of what f of f of x okay done next is what okay they said to well find out the value for p and q right so p is here the coefficient of x in the factor so coefficient of x is what there is a uh, 2 and the value for q is what 5 done okay next for part c what they have asked in the next question that is part c in part c sketch the graph of y equals to f of twice of x showing the coordinates of any points where the curve touches or crosses the coordinate axis okay so we need to sketch the curve y equals to f of twice of x not f of x so f of twice of x this is basically what a transformed equation a transformed function right so what type of transformation is this at first you need to recognize the transformations right so look 2 is a constant has been multiplied within the function f of x right so in that case since it has been multiplied for multiplication we know that this is called stretching like if you multiply something with the with the function it is what stretching and since it is within the bracket the 2 has been multiplied within the bracket so that means it is what stretching along the horizontal axis and we know that along the horizontal axis f, like all transformations for all type of transformations along the horizontal axis always the opposite thing happens what does it mean by the opposite thing look here f of twice of x that means x has been multiplied by 2 right but when we will be sketching the curve we what we will do we will multiply the x coordinates we will multiply the x coordinates of f of x by what half we will multiply the x coordinates of f of x by half this is what the opposite thing means so along the horizontal axis all the transformations happens what in the opposite way so it is twice of x we will multiply the x coordinates of f of x by what half okay so at first what we need to do for sketching curve we need to find out what the shape of the curve the x intercepts and the y intercepts done okay so let's see at first we need what the shape of the curve so shape of the curve it depends on what the coefficient coefficient of coefficient of x cube here the coefficient of x cube is what here you will get x squared and it's twice of x so that would give you twice of x cube that means the coefficient of x cube is what positive so it will be an what increasing curve done so first point is what it will be an increasing increasing done we got the shape next is the x intercepts so at x axis what we know at x axis you don't need to write this it, it, it's just rough works so at x axis what y equals to 0 so if a y equals to 0 then you will get x value x equals to what 3 this is a repeated root since it is whole squared and then or you will get x equals to negative 5 over 2 that means this curve will intersect the f of x these are for f of x okay this is for f of x so the curve of f of x will intersect the x axis at a uh, 3 0 not intersect it's it will get bounced back since it is a repeated root okay since it is repeated x minus 3 whole squared okay and it will intersect the x axis again at negative what 5 over 2 x equals to 5 over 2 and what 0 these two points okay okay so we got the x intercepts second step is done now the third step is what to find out the 
y intercept so at y axis the values for x would be zero so if you put x equals to zero in this equation what you will get minus three whole squared is nine and nine times five that is what 45 so the y value would be y intercept would be 45 so it will intersect f of x will intersect the y axis at 0 45 done now it's time to sketch okay so keep in mind we are not sketching the f of x basically we are sketching what f of twice of x the stretched horizontally stretched graph of what f of x so f of twice of x for f of twice of x what will happen we know that what i said for horizontal transformation stretching we will multiply the x coordinates of f of x by half the opposite thing okay so that means for the curve f of twice of x the x intercepts would be what 3 over 2 0 and then what negative 5 over 4 0 and since it is 0 so 0 times anything is what 0 it will remain the y intercept will remain as it is the y coordinates will not change because it is only horizontal transformation okay so since it is an increasing curve so the curve will inter start from this quadrant the third quadrant okay since increasing means to the left bottom part so that is the third quadrant so which which uh x intercept is to the farthest left negative 5 over 4 okay so the curve will intersect the x axis at negative 5 over 4 and it will be in an increasing so it will be an increasing curve keep going like this and then we'll, mix, we'll reach a maximum point then go down and then intersects not intersect it will just bounce it will just touch okay it will just touch the x-axis at what 3 over 2 and then bounce back and go increasing that's it done so now level the points negative 5 over 4 0 this is what 0 45 and then this is what uh, 3 over 2 0 and this is the sketch for the curve y equals to f of twice of x done this is the sketch of y equals to f of twice of x and that's all about part c and that's the end of question number 8 from may 2024 p1 regional paper that's it